Okay, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to make this first shape in on shape, and it's called end lap member. And as we can see from the dimensions on this drawing, that it's six inches long, three inches deep, and two inches tall. So on this particular shape, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch this in the front view. So I'm going to be drawing this front view profile, and then I'll be extruding it back at a distance of three inches, since it's three inches wide. So once you're in on shape, you're going to go to the Create button, and you're going to choose Document. And in this case, you're going to name it your last name, and then the name of the shape, which happens to be End Lap Member. And then hit OK. Once you're in the workspace here, the first thing you always need to do is to start a new sketch. So I'm going to click on Sketch, and then it's going to ask you to select the sketch plane. That means, do you want to sketch this in the front, the top, or the right side view? In this uh, particular object, and lap member, we're going to draw this in the front view. So when it asks me to select a sketch plane, I can either select it over here by hovering over the view when it's highlighted. I can click on it. Or I can use the left side column and simply click on the view that I want to use. In this case, I'm going to click on front. And then you'll notice that a box lights up around the front and it says sketch one. Now I'm going to select this front on the view cube on the right side of your screen here. When I click front, I am now looking at this as if it were like a flat piece of paper. You'll notice that now since I'm in a sketch, I have my sketch tools available to me. The one that I'm going to use now is called a line tool. So if I click on the line tool, and then I move over towards the origin, where the X and Y come together, my first click is going to start a line. I'm going to move in the direction that I want the line to go. It does not matter the length that I make it, because I'm going to type that in right after. So I'm going to click anywhere on this line, and right after I click, I'm going to type in on my keyboard the distance, which is 6 inches. And then I'm going to hit Enter. Then I'm going to travel in the upward direction, click one time, type 1 for 1 inch, hit Enter. I'm going to travel to the left, click one time, type the distance of 3 inches, and hit Enter. I am now going to travel in the upward direction. I'm going to type in 1, Enter. Now on this line, I'm going to move over until I am lined up with the origin, and you'll notice that it lights up in yellow. As soon as I'm lined up with it, it lights up in yellow. I'm going to click here, and then back into the origin. Then you'll notice that the shading turns gray. That indicates that the shape is now an enclosed figure, and there's no gaps or, or um, little spaces between the connections. And therefore, I can now go to this camera option and change it to isometric, which is at the top. And the only thing left to do is to extrude it. So the extrude tool happens to be the first one in the toolbar. I'm going to click on extrude. You'll notice that it starts to pop out. The default here is one inch, but I don't want to do one inch. I want to do three. So I'm going to change this to a three, and I'm going to hit enter. You'll notice that it changes to three inches. Hit the green check mark to finish it, and that's your shape all done. Okay? When you're done, you can simply click the On Shape tab in the top left corner, which will bring you back to your home screen, and this will automatically save for you.